Hello everyone, this is Shannon from That's So Po, and today I'm doing a review of Light from Uncommon Stars by Dika Aoki. This is a 2021 release, contemporary science fantasy. It is such a weird book and so wonderful. It was funny and beautiful and heartwarming, and I just loved reading this. So let me tell you all about why I loved it. First, let me tell you what the book is about, which is a little hard to do because it's kind of a strange book. Basically, this takes place in Southern California in modern day, and we follow three women whose lives intersect as well as many other supporting characters. Uh, one of these women is Shizuka. She is an older woman who has made a Faustian deal with a demon to turn in seven souls of budding violinists in order for her to get her own success as a violinist. She's already turned in six. She needs to find one more student. We also follow Katrina, who is a teenage trans girl who's run away from home because it's not a good place, and all she was able to escape with is sort of an emergency bag and her violin. And the third woman we follow is Lan, who is a refugee alien starship captain who escaped with her family from kind of a galactic war and has come to Earth as a bit of a refuge uh, and opened a donut shop. The story from there is just basically the way that these three women meet each other and interact and form connections with each other. Um, the way that the story unfolds is absolutely beautiful, but a little hard to summarize. Uh, there are some content warnings, especially for lots of things that happen to Katrina, the trans teenage girl. So definitely check those out if you want to make sure that you're aware of them before starting. So now let me tell you about all the reasons that I loved this book, starting with the writing. I thought that the writing in this was really gorgeous. Just every sentence was so beautiful. The writing was so descriptive and so evocative. There were so many um, uses of analogies to music and to food. Music and food play a huge part of the story and in every sentence you could see that as well. The descriptions were just so immersive and beautiful. As an example of just how beautiful I found the writing, let me give you a quote. As Shizuka moved through them, the San Gabriel's finest found their hearts faltering between notes, their music unraveled and wanting. It's just really, really evocative in terms of emotions while making that connection to music. There's also just so much humor in this book. It's a very dry humor that I thought was so funny, uh, often with really interesting biting social commentary. For example, Shizuka nibbled on her quaint and picturesque crepe. Apparently, this cafe was new, for the rustic courtyard furniture and French language signs still had price tags from Home Depot and Cost Plus World Market. Another thing that I loved is the world building. Even though this is set in sort of the contemporary world, it mixes in the contemporary things like the sort of Southern California, San Gabriel Valley uh, scene, all of these restaurants and the way that people interact and all of this stuff of the real world. And it mixes that with all of these sort of fantastical demon elements as Shizuka has made this deal with a demon. And so there's sort of demonic powers that are at play and there's alien tech. And so Lan has brought all of this alien tech with her and is trying to do quite a few interesting things. And we see some of that technology at play. So the world building in this is pretty wild. And just the way that it's all mixed together is a little surreal and reminds me of times of things like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. So it was funny and cool and just really fascinating. Something that I thought gave real depth to this story is the way that it explored a lot of different social issues. So probably the most prominent of these is just the trans experience because one of our main characters, Katrina, is a trans teenage girl and she goes through a lot. And so this really explores a lot of the ways that people treat her and the way that she's trying to be seen for who she is and respected for her uh, kind of violin playing. But there's a lot of other social factors 
happening that are preventing her from that. And we also have Shizuka, who is basically, you know, part demonic at this point, and Lan, who is an alien, and the way that they interact with kind of uh, understanding transness as well is quite different. So really, that's a huge part of this. But there's also a lot of other themes that are addressed, a lot of issues, um, lots of stuff about elitism, because we're in this world of violin playing. There is so much elitism in that kind of music world, and so just kind of uh, the way that the scenes play out and the way that it addresses that elitism and often makes some pretty biting commentary about it. It's really great. There's also things about immigration. Lan is an immigrant, um, and she is an immigrant from space, but that's related a lot also to just kind of the immigrant experience in general. Almost all of the characters in this story are immigrants um, or descendant of immigrants, and it's just a really good discussion of that experience. And all of the characters are women. Many of the side characters are women. So you have a ton in this talking about sexism and the way that women are treated. So just tons of social issues are addressed in this book that I think give it a real depth. And the last thing I want to mention is just how beautifully done the characters are. The characters in this, from the three main women to all of the supporting characters, just feel so nuanced and so fleshed out. There is so much about their experiences, especially about um, kind of the isolation and pain that each of them feels in different ways, and the way that they come together, the way that they build connections, the way that they also grow. There's so much growth in this story from the beginning to the end. Almost every character, including the side characters, have a really great growth arc, and you see them mature, and you see them figure out what their values are, and what they want out of life, and kind of how they interpret other people's actions, and kind of what they want to do. It's just it's really beautiful to see that kind of growth for so many different characters, and I was so emotionally invested in each of their journeys. Overall, I think that Light from Uncommon Stars is an incredibly beautiful and moving and funny book. It has got tons of interesting issues that it deals with and great speculative elements, although it really is a little bit weird, so you have to be the kind of person who enjoys a slightly surreal story. As long as you do, though, I think this is really, really worth your time and worth picking up. If you guys have read this book, or if you're interested in it, or if you've read anything else that you think sounds a little bit like this, definitely leave me a comment down below. I'd love to chat with you.